Okay, so in this lecture, we're going to install Windows Server 2012. So the first thing we need to do uh, is power on the virtual machine. And you can see right here, we already have the ISO mounted. So we'll go ahead, right click, and say start normal start. Okay, the VM window appears here. Now we can do right control and F, and that'll bring up full screen on our virtual machine. Now we're doing English, US, United States, click next. We'll select install now. Okay, so let's expand this and take a look at what our options are here. Now, like I said before, it's all 64-bit for Windows Server. Now we can install server core installation or server with the GUI and their standard and data center. Uh, basically, the difference is how many licenses you can apply. Uh, it's basically purchase and volume options. Uh, we're just going to pick data center, and we're going to do server with a GUI. Now, server core does not come with all, I like pretty obvious, it doesn't come with all the GUI options. So it runs faster, and it Microsoft's really pushing sysadmins to code, kind of go this way and manage the server cores from one server with a GUI. So you'll have maybe five Windows servers and four of them will be server core and then one will be server with a GUI. You manage the four servers with a core from the one server that you have with a GUI. That's where they're pushing the, the kind of direction. If you take uh, the MCSA exam, you'll find this, that that's what they're recommending. But uh, we're just going to do server with a GUI and click next. Okay, accept the license terms. Now we're going to select custom and we're going to install Windows only. And it says advanced. I don't really know why it says that. Um, the other option is to upgrade and we don't have anything installed so we have to choose custom. Now we're going to choose drive zero and we don't have anything on here. You can see it's got free 25 gigabytes. If there was data on here we could click format and just wipe out the data but uh, we don't need to do any of that. So we'll go ahead and click next. Now we just need to wait for Windows Server to finish its installation. All right, so this is where we're going to set the password for the local administrator account. Now you can see the username there is administrator. It's not admin. It's full, fully spelled administrator. And I'm going to go ahead and create my password. You might want to write this down or use a password that you remember because if you forget it, you're going to be in a little bit of trouble. You have to rebuild or reinstall Windows. So I'm going to click Finish. All right, so now we can log in. So on VirtualBox, if I hit Right Control and Delete, it's the same as pressing Control Delete. If I actually press Control Delete, it'll lock my Windows host. So or it won't lock it. It'll bring up the uh, task screen. So I'm going to log in with the password I just created. All right, so we're prompted about this network. Uh, do you want to find PCs, devices, content on this network? I'm just going to say yes. I don't really care. Okay, and now we have server manager. We'll go into more detail on this later. So what we want to do now is go ahead and pop out of full screen mode, and we need to install the VirtualBox tools. So the way you do that is click on devices and click insert guest additions CD image. Okay, so we're going to scroll down. All right, and here's the disk. We'll pop this open, and then we'll select Next, Install. And this allows things like copying from one computer from your host into the VM, uh, clipboard sharing, and things like that. And also drag and drop onto the desktop. Okay, so it wants us to reboot. We'll just say we'll reboot later. All right, so we'll close out of that. And we are all done with this lecture. We have Server 2012 installed. We've installed the guest editions. And that's it for this lecture. So I will see you guys in the next lecture.